Hey guys, Creator Cuber here. This right here is the Rubik's Connected, which is a smart cube made by Rubik's. And today, I'm going to be reviewing it. Okay guys, so before I get into the Rubik's Connected, um, I want to give a huge shout out to LV Cuber, who did the thing that I asked for the, in the last video that I had a shout out for. Um, he did the last, he did that, so I gave him a shout out. And then also shout out to Galactic Cuber, because they're in my videos a lot. Or not in my videos, but they're in the comments a lot, and they watch all my videos. So thank you both, and go check them both out. Now let's actually get into the cube. Okay guys, so when you first get your cube, it probably will be dead like mine was. So you just have to charge it using the cable provided. Uh, it's pretty simple, you just plug it into the yellow side, and a little light light will appear on the white side that's like, that shows that it's charging. You can kind of see the groove right there where the light appears. Um, yeah, so then after you're done, you just have to get the app, the Rupert Connected app on your phone, and set up Bluetooth and everything. And then it'll show your cube on screen. So you can just tap it and you can rename it if you want to like make sure it's yours. And you'll have to like create an account, but I've already done that. And I've already played around with it a bit. But this this uh, this video, I just wanted to review it a bit. So as you can see, I've done 33 matches and I have an 85% win rate approximately. And I average about 1664. Yeah, so I'm going to be going over a bunch of the features in this on the app. So for, to start off... Um, it's got like a trophy system or like a uh, podium, so like how like the fastest stuff and the pro cuber, the solo and the scramble stuff. Um, it's got some matches. You can just do a solo match. Oh, didn't mean to click that. Um, so you can just do a solo match. You can do a pro cuber match, which is basically just racing. You can do scrambling, which is basically like you have to scramble the cube and then solve it as fast as you can, like using the moves they provide. Um, there, then there's like a challenge, which I believe is like uh, it'll show you a face, and then you have to replicate that face. And then rescramble is like um, where you, it'll give you a random state, and you have to turn the cube into that state. Um, over here, you have quick timer, solver, stats, and Red Bull. Um, so basically, quick timer is just uh, I, like it doesn't give you scrambles, but you just do it on your own. Solver is basically where you uh, it'll tell you how to solve your cube from where it is at the current position. And then you have a few games. There's four right now, and then there's a, appears to be one called Patterns coming soon. And finally, it's got the solution guide, but we'll save this part for another video. So basically, here, I'm just going to hop into a solo thing to show you how it works. So you hold it so that the green side is facing you, and the white side is on top, because it doesn't have a gyroscope, so you just hold it like this. And actually, before I keep going, I'm going to do some turning. So as you can see, the magnets um, are really strong. But that actually works really well because of the way this because of the weight of the puzzle it just makes it feel like the perfect magnets for this weight so yeah the magnets are good and the turning is actually good it has pretty good corner cutting like it can't go all the way to 45 but it can go to like here which is pretty much all you need so yeah uh turning is good uh the sticker quality is not that great and the shades are a bit dark but that's expected i mean no cube can be flawless Yes, it's actually, let me actually show you what happens here. So you press continue after you're holding it like that, and it'll give you the scramble. So you just have to do the scramble. And I think you have to do, yeah, you have to do it in a certain amount of time, like 20 seconds. So I'm going to try to do this quickly. And as you might have seen there, um, if you mess up on the scramble, it'll tell you what to do to fix it <coughs> for a few moves. Um, so now you can just start whenever. Um, I'm doing this like over a tripod, so sorry if the solve is really bad. Uh, and I'm doing it in really bad lighting, so hopefully that'll all get fixed in color correction. Oh, I messed up. I did the wrong U perm. As you can see, 24. Horrible solve. But you get the point. So here, I'm going to just do one more thing. So if we come over here to Quick Timer, um, we'll hold that. So look, like here, it'll do that. But here, I'm just gonna uh, like scramble it up a bit. So as you can see, when I do a U, it does a U. When I do U prime, and like when I move it, so like obviously the green and green and white is always gonna be front and top. So if I do like a wide move or something, so that the centers like change position, like based on the cube then obviously it'll just do an R prime instead of a wide because yeah but yeah so that's how that works 
Um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm actually going to get into like the main part of it, which is all these match types. So first of all, you have solo, which we already saw, where it gives you the scramble, right? And then you have to solve that. Um, and then you have rescramble, which I'm not going to do in this video because it'll take me a bit too long. But it basically just gives you a random state of the cube, and you have to turn your solved cube into that state. So it's like solving it, but backwards. You're solving it to a scrambled state. Um, challenge is like that, but only with one face. So you don't have to solve the whole cube to a random scramble, just one side of it. And then scrambling. Here, I'm just going to show you scrambling really quick because it's a bit hard to explain. So there. Um, so let's just do hard or expert. So we'll do this. Beers this way. Okay, I guess we can. not Basically, um, I'm using my, my phone to film right now. So I'm using my sister's phone for this. Oh yeah, so you have to start off by scrambling the cube, like hand scrambling the cube. And after a while, it'll say, start shuffle strength strong. So you just stop. And then it'll look for a match. And you have to hold green in front, white on top. Okay, so we found a match. It's um, with Easton. So then what you have to do is just follow the moves on the bottom there. So I'm gonna, uh, I messed up there. Sorry, sorry for if that was out of oh, yeah. Sorry if that was out of frame. It was a bit. I was trying to do it without around the tripod. Yes, yeah, so that's scramble. So you scramble the cube, and then it gives you the solution. You have to do that as fast as you can. And next we have the thing that I like the most, which is Pro Cuber. Oh, sorry if this wire's been here the whole time. Didn't don't mean for that to be. It's the microphone. Um, I'm trying to move that. Okay, so Pro Cuber, um, obviously green in front, white on top, and then you can choose your skill level. So I tried through all of them. Uh, this one's different. It's not like the same as all the others. So I'm gonna go here. Um, this is like probably about sub twenty, I want to say. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of them though, because I'm sub 20, so I just did this, and I won all the other matches. So yeah, so then you turn it sideways. That's the one thing that's weird about the app is like there's constant like uh, orientation switches, but I mean it's not it's nothing too major. So I have to, so it'll find an opponent. Okay, so we've come upon an opponent. So now what we have to do is it'll show you the scramble. So you have to do the scramble, and after you don't your scramble, you have to wait for your opponent to finish scrambling, so you can start inspection while you're waiting. And then it gives you 13 seconds of inspection. You might think you can start whenever you want, but you have to wait until the inspection is done to start. So I'm just going to wait. This is not going to be a good solve, by the way. And go. Okay, it appears I'm going to take this from what from his cube. That's horrible. So as you can see, it shows your cube right there and the opponent's cube right there, so you can see how far they are. And it shows it says you win, obviously, because I won. So it shows you your time and the amount of moves you did. So I did 80 moves, which is pretty bad. Um, but if you go to advanced stats, which is where you get a bunch of cool stuff, so it shows you, you can, probably can't really see it that well, but it shows you how many moves you did for each step of the of CFOB. Um, and then it also sh shows you a timer or like a pie chart uh, with all the ti exact times of how long it took you for each step. Um, it shows you the scramble um, and like the turning log. The turning log is not going to be that accurate because it obviously doesn't have a gyroscope, so it might say L. Like if let's say you turn the let's say you turn the blue the blue side like this with the U, right? It'll count that as a B because it always has green in front and white on top. So it won't count that and like that and it also this part won't also be accurate that well but other than that it's actually pretty helpful if you like looking for something that you need to improve in so you can just go back to matches and you can start again um I, one thing that there could be is like a play again feature so instead of going back to matches you could just play in the same thing again but yeah so that's that um and then there are also a few games like there's cubi sizer which is basically just you turn your cube into a instrument so you have guitar drums P, uh, like a keyboard and then um, that like a uh, sound effects so here I'm gonna raise the volume a bit hopefully you could hopefully picks this up 
But as you can see, when I do a U, it makes sound. I'm gonna raise it a bit more so that you could hear. Um, and it shows you like at the beginning of a few songs, like. Like that's the beginning of Mary Had a Little Lamb. So yeah, that's just that. Um, painted is, I believe, where it like shows you a uh, face and you have to like turn into that and like it like there's nine of them that assemble a giant picture, but you have to do one at a time. Um, then you have Cube Hero, which is like Guitar Hero, and then Simon, where it's like oh, so red facing you, and like sometimes you have to switch. But, like yeah, so it shows like a few moves and you just have to do those like that and then it'll go like progressive it'll get progress progressively harder so yeah that's how simon works and then finally we have cube hero which is like guitar hero like i said earlier so i'm gonna do i already did like one i think i did three levels of it um on my actual phone um so i'll, sh I'll show you the first level so yeah red's facing you so it has music and then you have to just so you just have to like turn the faces that it, are indicated by the little things that move when it reaches there. And then after you've done that, it the uh, game's level and you can go to the next level or the main menu. So we'll go to the main menu for now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And we'll I'll do a new video on this in a few weeks, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and here, if we go to stats, then it'll like show your stats over here. So like your pro, scramble, challenge, and solo stats for like the games, wins, ranks, and times. Um, it'll show you some averages and all that. And then there are also a few charts and stuff for like your averages. Um, there's some self history stuff, and yeah, that's what the stats are. And then Red Bull Rubik's is like a separate online competition thing that you can just do. Oh, I don't know why I clicked re-scramble. That was a mistake. Um, but yeah, so it's actually really cool. I really enjoy using it, and I'm going to be using it a lot more. So expect some more videos on it in the future. Be sure to check out these two videos. One of them I recommend for you. One of them YouTube recommends for you. So choose whichever one you want, and please watch it. And don't forget to subscribe if you like it. It really helps me out a lot, and I'd be very grateful. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!